Who was Nikola Tesla? Was he really a genius? What is the difference between him and the famous inventor Thomas Edison? The legendary Nikola Tesla, a name synonymous with pioneering innovation, was far more than just the inventor of the induction motor and wireless systems, holding over three patents to his name. Tesla's brilliance went beyond what many realized. However, despite his illustrious contributions, the final years of his life remain shrouded in mystery. Whispers of unpublished discoveries, guarded secrets, and unconventional theories make Tesla's later years a captivating subject to explore. Join us as we dive into the enigmas, alleged conspiracies, and revelations from the iconic scientist during this fascinating yet obscure period of his life. Child of Light On a stormy night of July 10, 1856, a boy was born in the small village of Smiljan. The thunder and lightning were so fierce that the midwife feared he would be a child of darkness. But his mother, D.U.K.A. Mandic, who came from a line of inventors, knew better. She gazed at her son with pride and hope and proclaimed that he would be a child of light and named him Nikola Tesla. She was right, as Tesla would grow up to be one of the most brilliant and visionary minds in history. The synchronicity of his birth coinciding with intense electrical discharges in the sky establishes an evocative connection between Tesla and the very force that would come to define his career, electricity. Looking back with the benefit of hindsight, it almost seems fated that a man who would go on to utterly transform how humanity harnesses and utilizes electrical power should enter the world under the watchful, crackling light of a thunderstorm raging across the skies above his birthplace. Lightning immediately set him apart, enveloping Tesla with an air of mystery and wonder from his very first moments and foreshadowing his future as one of the most revolutionary inventors and thinkers of his era. War of the Currents in 1884, Nikola Tesla emigrated from Europe to the United States to work with Thomas Edison, who was renowned for his pioneering work on developing a commercially viable electric light bulb. Based on a recommendation letter from one of Edison's close associates, Tesla was hired to work for Edison's company in New York. During this time, Tesla made substantial improvements to Edison's electrical equipment, redesigning 24 different types of DC dynamos and motors. However, Tesla was intent on convincing Edison about the superiority of alternating current AC systems over direct current DC. Edison rejected Tesla's AC theories, and this fundamental disagreement ultimately led to Tesla leaving Edison's company in 1885. Edison remained firmly committed to DC power, while Tesla believed AC was the future. Tesla quickly found new financial backers and founded the Tesla Electric Light Company in 1887, where he developed practical AC motors and power transmission systems. His impressive innovations caught the attention of American entrepreneur George Westinghouse, who acquired Tesla's patents in 1888. Westinghouse recognized the merits of Tesla's AC approach and went head-to-head -head against Edison's DC system. This marked the beginning of the War of the Currents, one of the most iconic battles in technological history. Edison pursued an aggressive smear campaign against AC power, spreading misinformation about its dangers. But Westinghouse and Tesla's AC systems ultimately proved superior in transmitting electricity efficiently over long distances. The decisive victory came with the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, where Westinghouse and Tesla constructed a revolutionary AC generating station that powered the entire fair's electrical exhibits. Later that same year, Westinghouse was awarded the contract to harness the power of Niagara Falls using Tesla's hydroelectric AC generators and transformers, lighting up Buffalo, New York, miles away. This confirmed AC power as the undisputed winner over DC current. By allowing efficient voltage conversion, AC-enabled centralized power plants located miles from end users, laying the groundwork for the modern electric grid. Although Edison lost the War of the Currents, his pioneering work with electric lighting helped accelerate public adoption of electrification using Tesla's far-reaching AC power networks. The success of AC remains Tesla's most impactful contribution, empowering the electrification of cities, industries, and homes around the world. Groundbreaking Innovations 
In addition to his groundbreaking work on AC power systems, Nikola Tesla invented a diverse array of influential technologies still utilized widely today. In 1891, Tesla pioneered the Tesla coil, his namesake high-frequency air core transformer circuit capable of producing high-voltage AC electricity. Tesla coils have numerous applications in radio technology, medical devices, entertainment, and more. Tesla coils consist of two coupled resonant transformer circuits, allowing them to magnify output voltages from an AC power source to generate lightning-like discharges of electricity. This unique invention caught the public's imagination, with Tesla famously demonstrating lamps wirelessly lit just by holding them near an energized coil. The impressive sparks and currents produced by Tesla coils highlighted the wonders of alternating current and his showmanship in public demonstrations. Around the same time, Tesla also developed novel forms of electric lighting. He produced fluorescent bulbs that glowed brightly in various neon hues by passing AC current through specialized gases and phosphor coatings, making them forerunners of contemporary fluorescent lighting. Tesla even exercised his showmanship by creating elaborate public demonstrations where he would illuminate specially designed rooms solely using wireless energy transferred through low-pressure lamps. These captivating displays left crowds awestruck and cemented Tesla's reputation as a magician of electricity. But it was not all style and no substance. The underlying science behind these innovations laid the foundations for plasma lamps and fluorescent lights found everywhere in the modern world, from offices to home fixtures. Tesla's pioneering work with high-frequency electricity and wireless energy transmission also foreshadowed technologies like radio frequency lighting that are still being refined today. The Philadelphia Experiment In 1943, during the height of World War II, a sensational story emerged surrounding a secret U.S. Navy experiment that supposedly took place at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard. According to accounts that have spawned much debate and controversy over the decades, the destroyer USS Eldridge was rendered completely invisible through the application of advanced electromagnetic technology during this mysterious Philadelphia experiment. Witnesses allegedly observed the Eldridge disappearing instantaneously in a flash of blue light, then reappearing in view before disappearing again. Some claimed crew members were even seen embedded within the ship's structure after the vessel reappeared. Unsubstantiated reports suggest the experiment ended in catastrophe, with some of the crew traumatized and others disappearing entirely. While the U.S. Navy has firmly denied that any such phenomenon occurred, the wild tale has persisted as one of the most famous conspiracy theories and urban legends of the 20th century. Various versions describe Nikola Tesla's involvement, proposing that his groundbreaking research formed the foundations for the cloaking technology used during the apocryphal event. According to these speculative theories, Tesla's work on electromagnetism and high-frequency currents was covertly continued and enhanced by government scientists after his death to engineer the invisibility effect and other alleged consequences. Some accounts even suggest Tesla himself secretly worked directly with the naval researchers involved in the mythical wartime experiment. However, most historians dismiss concrete links between Tesla and the persistent myths around the Philadelphia experiment as speculative fiction unsupported by facts. Tesla pioneered the use of alternating current for wireless power transmission early in his career, and his research undeniably helped advance applied electromagnetism. But no conclusive evidence exists indicating he had any hand in classified military research, let alone far-fetched invisibility and teleportation effects attributed to the apocryphal event decades after the visionary inventor's death in 1943. While the story remains firmly entrenched as one of popular culture's most enduring legends, Tesla's actual connection to the so-called Philadelphia Experiment remains tenuous at best, if not entirely unfounded. Wireless Power Transmission and Wardenclyffe Tower Before Tesla, electricity was severely limited. You could only transmit it about one kilometer from the power source, just enough for lighting. After Tesla, electricity could be transmitted hundreds of kilometers in all directions from power plants, enough to run factories 800 to 900 kilometers away. But this was not the extent of Tesla's vision. 
One of Nikola Tesla's lifelong ambitions was to develop a system for wireless power transmission. The ability to distribute electricity globally through the air without any wires linking power stations to end users. Starting in the late 19th century, Tesla theorized that by carefully tuning to the natural resonant frequencies of the Earth, he could transmit electricity wirelessly across vast distances using the planet itself as a conducting medium. This pioneering idea was far ahead of its time, foreshadowing technologies like Wi-Fi and wireless charging that we take for granted today. To pursue this vision, Tesla began constructing his greatest project, Wardenclyffe Tower, in 1901 with financial backing from J.P. Morgan built in Shoreham, New York. The futuristic 57-meter-tall Wardenclyffe Tower was intended to function as a giant wireless transmission station for sending both electric power and global communications across the Atlantic Ocean. But as costs mounted amidst technical challenges and growing skepticism, J.P. Morgan eventually withdrew funding in 1905 before the project could be completed. With no way to cover the outstanding expenses, Tesla lost ownership of Wardenclyffe Tower and was forced to abandon his ambitious venture altogether. The partially constructed tower structure was demolished in 1917 and sold for scrap. Although Wardenclyffe Tower ultimately failed, and wireless energy transmission remained an unfulfilled dream for Tesla, the project highlighted his forward-thinking nature. More than a century later, various researchers continue revisiting the theoretical foundations and possibilities of his ideas. Limited forms of short-distance wireless charging and power transfer leveraging electromagnetic fields have now begun entering the consumer tech sphere, from charging pads to solar-powered home appliances, while Wardenclyffe's original scope and scale may have been fantastical science fiction at the time, Tesla's vision nonetheless presaged technologies and concepts that retain intriguing potential to this day. For now, the disassembled Wardenclyffe site remains a poignant monument to Tesla's unrealized ambitions and the tireless efforts of a relentless innovator who constantly sought to transcend the boundaries of what was accepted as possible in his era. The race to turn long-distance wireless power transmission into reality is still ongoing. Extraterrestrial Communication Nikola Tesla speculated about the possibility of extraterrestrial life more than a hundred years before mainstream SETI research began. Privately, he claimed his inventions like the Tesla coil and magnifying transmitter enabled the reception of intelligent signals from space. Publicly, Tesla stated in broadcasts from his Colorado Springs lab in 1899 that he was receiving mysterious rhythmic signals that must have originated on Mars. These pronouncements generated significant interest and press coverage, sparking public debate. Tesla believed his powerfully resonant coils allowed him to explore electrical disturbances from far beyond our own planet. But most contemporaries attributed his signals to mundane terrestrial interference or imagining things. While Tesla lacked a modern understanding of naturally occurring radio emissions from space, his claims aligned with widespread speculation in the early 20th century about intelligent Martians signaling Earth. Percival Lowell's observations of Schiaparelli Mars canals fueled much discussion on the possibility of life there. Tesla added scientific intrigue by suggesting his technology intercepted these alien communications. Tesla also proposed long-distance electric signaling techniques as a means for relaying messages to extraterrestrial civilizations in our solar system and beyond. In a 1900 Electrical World interview, he described a futuristic means of interplanetary communication across vast distances using his conductive world system for wireless transmission of energy and information. These ideas would be considered exceptionally visionary, as only a few scientists at the time seriously considered mechanisms for bridging the immense gulfs of interplanetary space. Tesla believed that one day, all planets including Earth would be linked through instantaneous electromagnetic communications. While Tesla's theories lacked a modern scientific understanding of cosmic electromagnetic noise, planetary atmospheres, and the rarity of life, he nonetheless displays remarkable prescience speculating about prospects for alien contact and interplanetary transmissions more than a half century before either subject would be taken seriously by the wider scientific community. 
His bold extrapolations shine light on a brilliant future-thinking mind, probing the boundaries of possibility at the frontiers of science and imagination. The Death Ray One of Nikola Tesla's most controversial alleged inventions centered around his claims late in life to have developed an operational directed energy weapon he called the Death Ray, or Teleforce. In interviews, Tesla stated he had been working on a powerful particle beam capable of shooting down fleets of enemy aircraft from vast distances that would bring down a fleet of 10,000 enemy airplanes at a distance of 400 kilometers from a defending nation's border and will cause armies to drop dead in their tracks. Tesla tried rousing military interest by claiming this secret new weapon he developed could knock out any aggressor and end war completely. Despite his pronouncements, Tesla never publicly demonstrated a working model or gave conclusive evidence to support his supposed technological breakthroughs. The purported death ray workings described employed basic concepts like charged particle acceleration and focusing not yet achieved in Tesla's time. Mainstream scientists dismissed many of Tesla's claims, attributing them more to showmanship and exaggeration rather than any genuine functional directed energy weapon prototype. Much speculation arose nonetheless, driven by Tesla's reputation for profound insights ahead of his time. Various theories emerged, some suggesting Tesla had made revolutionary strides secretly and were hiding the truth to preserve advantages, others believing the weapon was elaborately conceived fiction or self-promotion by an aging scientist passed over by the world. The absence of any death ray schematics or equipment in Tesla's effects collected after his death provides further evidence against literal interpretations of the purported superweapon. While long the subject of much conjecture and theories in popular science and conspiracy circles, no independently verifiable information has yet surfaced confirming Tesla had in fact secretly worked out the incredible technical challenges inherent to building a functional directed energy armament based on his visionary concepts. Pyramids and Tesla Tower the iconic pyramids of Egypt have long inspired awe at their advanced engineering mysteries. Nikola Tesla, with his deep appreciation of energy and resonance principles, speculated that they may have served as massive power generators, not mere tombs. He saw intriguing parallels to his own visionary Wardenclyffe Tower project. Tesla theorized that by precisely structuring pyramids to geometrically harness the planet's natural resonant vibrations, their builders may have used them as gigantic power oscillators. While most archaeologists doubt this exotic theory, Tesla's open-minded perspective reveals an inclination to perceive past civilizations as possessing profound technological sophistication. In an engineering sense, Tesla's 57-meter Wardenclyffe Tower evokes pyramid comparisons. Both monumental structures incorporated radically advanced technologies requiring tremendous resources and vision. Their verticality aimed to interact with energies in the sky above. Deep stone-lined shafts descended below each structure, channeling telluric forces. Precise tuning of dimensions and exotic materials suggest their shared esoteric purpose beyond mere utility. Wardenclyffe's unrealized history as an enigmatic engineering marvel parallels the pyramids' enduring mysteries. Tesla hoped his tower would power a global wireless utopia before costs forced abandonment. Both projects were left incomplete, with questions remaining about whether they achieved their builders' grand visions. The pyramids lacked some of their planned outer limestone casing stones when construction mysteriously ceased. Wardenclyffe saw its crowning spherical terminal scrapped before installation due to costs. Nevertheless, the two monuments retain profound legacies for pushing engineering and technology forward in their eras. Their comparisons reveal Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower as a modern pyramid in many respects, constructed using equally bold thinking for its time, but unfortunately also sharing a somewhat enigmatic and unrealized fate. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Tesla's obsession with time travel is legendary. He tirelessly worked on a secret time machine project, but did he succeed? Nikola Tesla broke the silence before his death and revealed a terrifying secret, claiming, I could see the past, present, and future simultaneously. As Tesla's health deteriorated, many dismissed him as weak and insane. But what if, in those mysterious final days, he truly unlocked the secrets of time travel? Could the frail old man we know from photos actually be an imposter from another era? 
Tesla took his greatest secret to the grave. Do you believe the visionary inventor built a working time machine? Was Tesla a time traveler himself? Let us know your boldest theories in the comments. Nikola Tesla's time travel ambitions may not be just the ravings of a mad scientist. Perhaps the truth is more fantastic than we ever imagined. The Lost Inventions Nikola Tesla was an extraordinarily prolific inventor, pioneering countless revolutionary technologies that helped usher in the modern electrical age. However, Tesla also hinted at numerous brilliant free energy breakthroughs that never fully materialized during his lifetime. One rumored invention was an ozone generator that could purportedly extract electricity from the air while also purifying water. Tesla claimed it could provide unlimited clean power. He was also said to be developing a special resonant transformer that could wirelessly broadcast electricity over long distances using the Earth itself as a conductor. Additionally, Tesla supposedly designed an ambient energy collector that could pull electricity directly from the environment for use in homes and factories. Nikola Tesla devotees believe he also secretly uncovered the holy grail of free, limitless energy. Through his study of resonance, Tesla became convinced it was possible to tap into the latent vibrational energies already existing within the Earth's crust and atmosphere. Tesla theorized that by precisely calibrating an array of specialized Tesla coils, he could amplify the innate electromagnetic resonances in Earth's cavities to generate limitless electricity. This power would then be wirelessly transmitted globally via intricately tuned towers and receivers, forming an efficient system harnessing naturally occurring planetary energies. Skeptics consider such schemes to violate the laws of physics. However, proponents argue Tesla had experimentally demonstrated radical fuelless energy generation on a small scale during his Colorado Springs research. Expanding the principles into a worldwide power grid was his ultimate aim with Wardenclyffe Tower before funding troubles halted construction. Tesla took his visionary theories on obtaining free wireless energy from Earth's natural dynamo with him to the grave. No complete schematics exist outlining the technical details or apparatus needed to extract this purported all-pervasive power source. But true believers insist that with his unparalleled genius, Tesla had found the methods to usher humanity into an electrified utopia of unlimited clean energy, unjustly denied to the world forever by history. Confiscation of his estate after death. Upon Nikola Tesla's death at age 86 in January 1943 in his New York hotel suite, Representatives from the U.S. government's Office of Alien Property promptly arrived to seize all his belongings and documents. This controversial action fueled suspicions that Tesla's effects contained valuable technological secrets, potentially associated with rumored breakthrough discoveries. The Office of Alien Property operated under the authority of the Trading with the Enemy Act. Its purpose during wartime was to appropriate patents and assets from foreign nationals to prevent them from aiding enemy regimes. But Tesla retained American citizenship, so the extent of this measure in his case raised questions. The only granted justification was that Tesla still possessed a Yugoslavian passport, enabling his property to be seized before any foreign entities could access it. For nearly a decade until 1952, teams examined the large volume of Tesla materials for any scientific value or patent applications while preventing public access. Some documents were eventually released publicly by the Tesla Museum in Belgrade, created with Tesla's ashes in 1955. However, limited availability and the secrecy surrounding the review have fueled many conspiracy theories. Wild speculation spread that critical documents possibly pointing to amazing secret inventions had been suppressed, hidden away, or stolen when the government deemed the release of such technologies too disruptive or disadvantageous. While perhaps far-fetched, the lack of full transparency about what exactly the review uncovered continues to make some doubt all of Tesla's effects were fully returned to his living relatives. The circumstances surrounding Tesla's passing were already mysterious enough, occurring during the height of World War II. The immediate seizure and sealing off of all his papers and prototypes maintained an aura of intrigue. 
While likely simply wartime precautions, the confiscated estate has become integral to the Tesla legend, and the mystique surrounding what radical insights this eccentric genius may have still had to offer in the final days of his life. Those secrets may have departed the world alongside him when he died nearly alone in room 3327 of the New Yorker Hotel. The Dispute with Marconi over Radio Guglielmo Marconi is conventionally credited as the inventor of the radio based on his 1901 transatlantic wireless signal transmission. However, Nikola Tesla played a foundational role in developing core technologies like tuned electrical circuits, critical to radio's emergence as a practical communication method. Tesla unsuccessfully asserted priority over many fundamental radio patents later assigned solely to Marconi. Tesla demonstrated short-range wireless remote control principles in 1898, years before Marconi's much-heralded transatlantic broadcast in 1901. Tesla's landmark lecture, The True Wireless, presented a comprehensive vision and specific embodiments for wireless communication systems. Although Marconi's later long-distance transmissions captured the public's imagination, they relied extensively on Tesla's fundamental radio circuit innovations. A pivotal injustice came when the U.S. Patent Office reversed its previous rulings and unexpectedly awarded Marconi a critical 1897 patent for radio in 1904. This nullified Tesla's claims, just as Marconi was gaining international fame. Many historians argue Marconi's financial backing and connections with elite power brokers better positioned him to obtain credit for radio innovations building directly upon Tesla's work. A protracted legal battle ensued over several years, as Tesla sought acknowledgement and compensation for his foundational contributions that enabled Marconi's wireless feats. But lacking financial resources, Tesla ultimately failed to win any concrete recognition during his lifetime that would place him as radio's rightful forefather. It was not until 1943, months after Tesla's death, that the U.S. Supreme Court finally overturned Marconi's disputed patent award. This late decision acknowledged Tesla's prior art and rightful claim as a true pioneer whose work formed radio's core foundations. While vindicating Tesla, the outcome arrived far too late to amend public perceptions cementing Marconi as the single iconic inventor of radio. This unfortunate aspect of Tesla's legacy illustrates the fine line between brilliance and fortune. As masterful an inventor as Tesla was, he lacked the business acumen and resources required to protect priority and control over his own innovations. Tesla's inability to properly capitalize on his breakthroughs allowed others to step in, claim credit, and reap the most rewards. But his critical contributions remain indelibly etched into the evolution of modern wireless technology. The Pigeon Companion in his later years, Nikola Tesla developed an unexpected affection towards the pigeons that populated Manhattan's parks and public spaces throughout the city. He became known for regularly feeding them and could even be observed conversing with them at length, as though sharing a mysterious connection. Out of all the birds, one particular female white pigeon captured Tesla's special fascination. According to Tesla, this pigeon possessed unusually intelligent eyes that revealed to him secrets of the universe on the day he finished his life's work. He believed her appearance foretold his approaching end. When the white pigeon later died, Tesla was overwhelmed with grief and claimed she had imparted to him a final mystical revelation before her passing. Skeptics viewed Tesla's abnormal pigeon affinity as further evidence of declining mental health problems in his final years. The birds essentially became one of the few sincere companions to the aging scientist who had otherwise become increasingly isolated and solitary following the downfall of his great visions like Wardenclyffe Tower. To Tesla, caring for the winged creatures distracted from his regrets over squandered fortune and unrealized potential. While his unusual doting may have been a symptom of unaddressed obsessive tendencies, Tesla's relationship with his beloved pigeons reveals his gentle emotional spirit coexisting with his world-changing technological brilliance. In the end, even the most rational genius remains human. Tesla's pigeon fixation ultimately represents the contemplative inner life of a lonesome visionary, looking back on the miracles, mysteries, and misfortunes that colored his storied journey. His Final Years and the Thesis 9 Theory 
The last decade of Nikola Tesla's life has been shrouded in mystery that still fuels speculation today. After living reclusively in New York hotels sustained only by close friends, Tesla died at the age of 86. Immediately, controversy surrounded his death as government officials swiftly confiscated all his belongings, concerned that his purported secret discoveries could have military applications. While alive, Tesla had hinted he was on the verge of dazzling new inventions, portraying himself as either a lone genius still making profound discoveries in isolation, or a once brilliant mind descending into fantasy during his final days. In his final years, Tesla became obsessed with numerology, fixating on deciphering what he called the The-69 Cosmic Code, which he believed represented fundamental mathematical constants of the universe. Tesla described The-6 and 9 as the vibrational numbers of the universe and claimed that they held the core secret to understanding everything, including all material reality. Tesla posited that all things in the physical world possess an innate resonant frequency based on some combination of the numbers 3, 6, and 9. He arrived at this conclusion after years of experimentally studying vibration, resonance, and the innate qualities of these specific digits. According to Tesla, the number 3 represents the spiritual force that governs the material side of the universe. Six represented the material side of the universe, since all physical objects exist in three dimensions. Height, width, and depth. Three multiplied by two is equal to six. Finally, nine was the unifying force between the physical and spiritual planes, tying together all creation three plus six equals nine. Tesla insisted that by understanding the divine significance of these numbers, one could comprehend the inner workings of the cosmos. He developed obsessive daily rituals around the numbers, claiming he could mystically invoke the 6-9 vibrational powers to achieve groundbreaking new discoveries. For example, Tesla would walk around a building three times before entering, and compulsively calculate cube roots and square roots of large numbers related to the 6-9. While Tesla's fixation on this numerology resulted in no known major tangible innovations, he remained convinced until death that the The-69 code profoundly coincided with core universal truths that could unlock humanity's greatest accomplishments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.